It's the first morning of Rena's first day in camp 70 years ago today. That's a turn screaming above us. I had no idea they had seagulls and turns here. Um, it's 6.30 in the morning. The tradition in Auschwitz was to wake the prisoners up at 4 a.m. and count them. And I, I just woke up and realized that um, this would have been Rena's very first roll call. After a horrible night of standing in block five, in complete and utter shock. What has happened to her world? Who is she? Why don't they know that she's a good girl who comes from Tillage in Poland and has a kind mama and papa who keep kosher and are orthodox and read the Talmud and, and mama lights candles every Friday night for Shabbat and, and is always blessing people and when gypsies come for to the kitchen door mama lets them sleep in the kitchen so they have a warm place to stay at night and here's Rena being treated like um, a dog a cockroach she was she was told after liberation they were walking down the road um, after liberation um, heading towards the American side of Germany which had been split in half on May 2nd 1945 and um, and there was a German uh, I don't want to say a German there was clearly a Nazi uh, but a um, not an official walking down the road and when he saw the girls out of the camp in Neustadt Leva he um, called them cockroaches and, uh, and Rena thought here we are in freedom and he still doesn't think we're human. One of the exercises I do with my students is I have them stand for five minutes pretending they're at roll call. And it's in whatever kind of weather, even if it's raining or snowing. Um, I am struck standing here this morning outside of my hotel where I've had a good night's sleep. Um, how pretty wrung out I am today. Clearly I don't have on any makeup. Um, I am tired, my feet hurt, um, and uh, I, you know, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I am uh, struck about um, how cold and bleak it was for these, these girls, and um, and I just wanted to stand here for a moment and um, and think about Rena on her first day in Auschwitz, standing in between block 10 and block 9, being counted by brand new kapos who had come from Ravensbrück, prisoners themselves, prostitutes, politicals, communists, anybody against the Third Reich, and murderers. And standing there, being counted. Nobody's saying, Rifka, where are you from? Nobody identifying her by name, as she has become 1716.